Hi, it's Sean McCann from Stan James. Welcome to the preview of the weekend sporting action, and it is brilliant for of course. Super Bowl 44. Remember, we spoke about it earlier in the week. <clears throat> is it New Orleans Saints? Is it the destiny of the Saints? I think three years after Hurricane Katrina. Remember, even money on the handicap with StanJames.com, plus five and a half points for Drew Brees' side, minus five and a half points for Peyton Manning and the Indianapolis Colts looking for their second Super Bowl. I think they won it in 2007 as well. And all, you just get the impression the whole America rooting for the New Orleans Saints, of course, New Orleans that was devastated by Hurricane Katrina three years ago. But even money each or two, we can't decide. Drew Brees on Manning, even money each or two, five and a half point start for the Saints here in Gibraltar as well. We're really looking forward to the second year of the Stan James sponsored Eddie Cox Memorial. Eddie Cox was a great um, ambassador for the PDC and his family will be coming out here with his, along with his brother and his, his, his wife and family coming out here to present the prizes. We've got 16 of the top 20 in the world on Saturday and Sunday and it's absolutely fascinating. Such is Dart. That's what I love about Dart. We've got five players, James Wade, uh, Teddy Jenkins, Mervyn King, Adrian Lewis and Ronnie Baxter. Five of them playing in a sports hall 100 yards away here in front of about 150, 200 people. They love their darts here and of course the same five guys will be playing in front of a packed house at the O2 Arena for the Premier League of darts which starts next Thursday. There'll be more about that next week but it's amazing we, we priced it up the, in the office this morning and of course we're normally used to four to nine taylor four to seven taylor one to two taylor eight to fifteen taylor and would you believe we are now four to one the field for um saturday's um tournament is the uh, the first as you say the second uh, Andy cox memorial tournament so it's four to one james wade 12 to one mervyn king adrian lewis i think that's big i think lewis is arguably the second best player in the world at present i know this is a big year for adrian lewis 12 to 1 then uh, 14 for 1 for ronnie baxter and for terry jenkins paul nicholson 16 to 1 for paul nicholson who of course beat king beat taylor more importantly in the semi-final it's a massive year for him but again you go down there you've got the uh, colin lloyd you've got <clears throat> great floor players like mark walsh great floor players such as gary anderson 20 to 1 i think chastening experience for anderson not to be in the Premier League of darts. Remember, he was voted the 2009 most exciting darts player in the year in the world. That's what we're looking forward to as well. It's Super Bowl 44, but what a weekend of football as well. And as a uh, hand on heart Evertonian, I think it, this is an if. It is, really is uh, a fascinating derby match at, uh, at Anfield 12.45 Saturday live on Sky Sports 1. When you think that both sides come here in decent form result-wise, I don't think they haven't been particularly good against Sunderland and defensively, well, they've kept clean sheets in the last two games. Interesting whether Senderos plays the second game, what a, a baptism that will be uh, for Philip Senderos, or will uh, Distan come back, Sylvain Distan come back in. But um, <clears throat> 4 to 5, Liverpool 5 to 2, the draw, and 7 to 2 for Everton. What, what, what is almost unique, certainly almost unique, maybe since the, the late 80s, is I actually think Everton may play as much football. As Liverpool in this game, whether the you know the the, the, the the cop will get behind Liverpool, of course, still got a wonderful record against Everton. Probably fortunate. Let's get right. They were fortunate to win a Goodison and that a uh, Yobo own goal when Mascarano did you know get over the halfway line shot um, was going in uh, <clears throat> going out for a goal kick and of course Mascarano diverted it. Sorry, Yobo diverted into the corner. Liverpool slightly fortunate, but since then almost you know they played very well at home. You know, beat Manchester United, beaten Spurs, and uh, arguably I think unlucky to beat to them tonight. Arshid in goal they could have been two or three up it is still fortress Anfield and I think this is a massive game pivotal game for Everton I, I, I've I have to come out and say that back Liverpool to finish fourth in the league I think Manchester City I think Spurs and I think Aston Villa are good but they're not yet that good and well whilst I you know, whilst I didn't think sort of Benitez's tactics maybe at Stoke City to a less extent uh, certainly at Molyneux to a less extent at Stoke I thought they should have gone in, f in search of the victory but a fascinating game do have a look out for Fellini I'm interested maybe if Rodwell comes into the Everton midfield then just to stiffen it that we play I think uh, Pienaar Wright <coughs> uh, Landon Donovan then maybe play we certainly of course play Felly we'll play Cahill in the hole but whether or not we play Rodwell or Leon Osman I'd probably maybe go for Le uh, for Jack Rodwell on this occasion absolutely fascinating 4 to 5 for Liverpool five, uh, Hull versus Manchester City Manchester City still for me I, 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 I just can't have them there 8 to 11 the, um, they didn't convince against Portsmouth last week and if you, when you consider the Hull 
Um, <clears throat> arguably unlucky to only get a point against Chelsea. They're uh, four to one shot. I think that looks big. I do think there'll be a draw in this game. It's five to two. Spurs, Aston Villa as well. It's a big derby. Big derbies, and again, we must say at StanJames.com, we have five to two for a red card in that Merseyside derby. When you think of Kiriakos, you've got Mascarano, you've got Phil Neville. Phil Neville, of course, has been sent off. Tim Cale has been sent off in a Merseyside derby as well. I don't think that's the worst shot as well. Five to two, um, four to one. We're also having bookings: um, uh, Liverpool versus Everton. Though three, of course, big derby matches the weekend. Uh, Blues, uh, Birmingham Blues on this occasion versus Wolves. Thirteen to eight. Chelsea versus Arsenal. Twenty-one to ten. That's in the booking index. Also, a goals index. Blue is the colour. Got this in hands treble for the three teams in blue: Everton, Birmingham City, and Chelsea to win their respective. Derby. Just quickly, Spurs against Aston Villa again. I just think Spurs may uh, may pinch this even money. Uh, Birmingham. They would be my uh, bet of the weekend. Birmingham City four to five, uh, four to one Wolves and nine to four. And I know it's a big um, Midlands derby, but I do think uh, uh, Blues again <clears throat> will come out on top in this one. It's uh, eight to eleven for Chelsea. That's from uh, four to six. Slightly easing of Chelsea out to uh, eight to eleven from four to six. Fifteen to two, five to two rather the draw and four to one for Arsenal. We've got this. Remember Chelsea to score more three or more goals. They beat them three. Manchester United beat them three. We've got eleven to four for Chelsea to score three or more goals against Arsenal at the weekend. But for all your football action, do check out StanJames.com. But uh, Super Bowl Forty Four is it the year of New Orleans Saints? Is it almost fate and destiny? And it will be here in Gibraltar. Really looking forward to the Eddie Cox Memorial. It's no longer four to nine the field. It's four to one the field. That looks short for me for James Wade. I must say Adrian Lewis at twelve to one would be my selection. Be lucky.